Hey, morning. How you doing? Crazy weather out there. More double suns. Yeah, sand. Lots of sand. I don't think I'm passing all that well, guys. What do you make of this corpse? They got turrets. It's higher tech than I was expecting. Quickly, tell him we are not a threat. Translation. Result. I believe I have succeeded in confusing him, Master. We have shown an interest not common among outsiders. Apologize for being here. Just say that we want peace. Translation. Translation. He is expressing disbelief, as am I, but his duty requires that he report to his chieftain. Extrapolation. It would seem that we are at least worthy of curiosity for the moment. I would much rather this get bloody, Master, but it is your call. with some guarantee of accuracy that he is demanding to know why he should let us survive this encounter, Master. We want a peaceful solution, that's all. I would quite like to put my robes on considering he stripped me out of my sand people disguise. Translation. Translation. He claims he has no reason to believe you, Master. Your kind have tainted this land with machines and uncaring, ignorant feet. Translation. He requires proof of good faith. We must make a contribution to his people that shows we are not a threat. Shall I blast him now, Master? Ask what it is that he wants. Translation. Translation. He plans to move his people farther from Anchorhead, but they need to build up stores of water first. He says you must aid him. Translation. He wants moisture evaporators from the Zerka. If you deliver them, he will order that his people reduce their attacks on miners. The attacks have to stop altogether. Translation. Translation. He says that will never happen, Master. Ignorant outsiders continually desecrate their most reverential customs. This will always demand a response. An attitude I can respect. Protocol. From his perspective, a reduction is already a large step. It is doubtful you will get agreement on much more than that. We will get his evaporators then. Translation. <laughs> Translation. Hmm. He does not believe you, Master. We will only be allowed to re-enter the Enclave when we have the evaporators with us. Translation. We are to be escorted outside. He will wait, but he doesn't believe we are coming back. Okay, now that we have finally stopped being manhandled, I would like to put my robe back on.
And Bustler, here you go. Some Jedi robes. We should make our way back to Anchorhead. The sand people are going to be amicable for the time being. And all the better. Let's try and avoid their minefields though. I feel like we're going to have more trouble with the Zerka than we are with the sand people. They are strange creatures. Stand on the mine. Moisture evaporators. Does anyone have any ideas? Doubt Berserker are just gonna hand them over. They're paying me to slaughter them. Hunting Lodge. Doesn't seem like the kind of place that will have moisture evaporators, I know. Let's see what Zerka says first. Canteen is not likely to have them. You're right, Bastila. How can I help? Well, I'd like to know more about you. You seem to always be talking about me. Yes, I suppose I can understand your curiosity, given the bond that connects us. Very well. I'll tell you a bit about myself. Tell me how you joined the Jedi. I was found to be strong with the Force at a young age, as most Padawans are. As a girl, I was given to the order to be trained. When I joined the Order, I left my family on Talravan, as all Padawans do. My family's still there, the last day. I've had little contact with them, as it is discouraged. Why is it discouraged, exactly? Relationships with family members are fraught with powerful emotions. Such extremes are to be avoided. Anger and hate are the worst. But even love can lead to folly. You aren't allowed to love. Emotional entanglements can be dangerous. They can impair rational thought. They can lead to outbursts of uncontrolled emotion. The Jedi must be above such things. You don't sound very convinced. It can be a hard lesson to learn. I was not on good terms with all of my family, but I do remember missing my father terribly for a long time. Who weren't you on good terms with? I was not on good terms with my mother. I was only a little girl when I left, but I was old enough to resent her and the way she treated my father. She pushed my father into treasure hunting. I spent all my young life on ships, traveling from one false lead to the next. She whittled away my father's entire fortune, and I hated her for it. I think she was relieved to give me to the Jedi, but my father was heartbroken. But you never tried to get in touch with him again? A child is too young to understand the sacrifices that must be made. It's better if they have no contact with their family once they're removed. Once I was older, I realized the wisdom of this policy. A Jedi must do what is needed, personal desires notwithstanding. Love can only obscure and confuse the matter. 
You sound very sad when you say that, Bastila. Even a Jedi cannot always control the feelings of the heart. We must do our best to guard against it, no matter what the cost. But some sacrifices are harder than others. I, I do not wish to discuss this anymore. I would rather return to our mission. Mm. All right. Hey there. Greetings again from the offices of Zerga Corporation. Is this about bounties or something else? I want to ask about our agreement. Yes, we're still waiting for you to return with the Sand People Chieftain's gaffy stick. I'll reward you well when you do. We don't have any new information on the subject. It's still possible that they have an enclave in the far south of the Dune Sea. And I would remind you that you did agree to do this task for Zerka Corporation. We expect completion in a timely manner. There may be a non-violent solution to this. I should remind you that you were not retained as a diplomatic representative. You are a hunter, and should go after your prey as we agreed. You are not authorized to do anything other than deliver what was promised. Do so, and don't talk of this foolishness again. Alright, fine. Goodbye. Farewell. Zerga Corporation welcomes your future inquiries. HK. You sure I can't reactivate those assassination protocols? What do you have available for purchase? Do you have any moisture evaporators? To exchange with sand people to stop their attacks. Could you be persuaded to lower that price at all? Zerka's costs, not yours. Who gives a crap about their money? Fair, fair. I'll take them for 400 credits then. Um, what do you have for sale the rest of the time? I'm starting to run a bit low on things. But you know, I've got a few things I don't need. Adrenals.
You know what? I could buy some computer spikes. They'd be quite nice. And then I'll leave you for now, thanks. What about these skull plates? Maybe I should ask around the hunting lodge. Who are you? Please, will you help me? I have nothing. Nothing left. What do you need? My name's Vayner. I'll help you can. Oh, thank you. I don't have anywhere else to turn. If you're down and out on Tatooine, you're on your own. My husband was a hunter, killed out on the dunes. This raid plate is all I have left. Please, will you buy it? I don't need a handout. I just can't sell it to Faza without a license. Please, I'm worried about having it. They're so rare. What is a raid plate exactly? It's the bone plate from the head of the desert raid. My husband was so proud when he found it. He had just started hunting. He said he felt sure the next hunt would bring in more, so we waited to sell this one. Then he never came back. Let's talk about what to do with it. Will you buy it? I can't sell it myself. They are worth more than 500 credits. I could sell it for you. I... I don't know. How could I be sure you would come back? Are you sure you can't buy it? Please. You might just have to trust I'm sorry, me. but I can't take that chance. Are you sure you can't buy it from me? Alright, I'll buy it from you. You will? Oh, thank you so much. Please, I know it's worth at least 500 credits. I'll pay you what you want for that. Thank you. I hope it is enough. You've been a great help. I appreciate it. My children will too. Thank you for helping this woman. It may not seem like such a great thing to you, but you are making a difference. For whatever it means, may the Force be with you. You've saved us. I feel good about that. I feel good about that. Alright, let's see if we can sell them. We do have a hunting license, after all. Yeah, that'll do nicely. I have raid plates. I don't have any need of them. We've sold these off. Let's head back to the um, Sand People Embassy. Perhaps we can appease them with these evaporators. And then, HK, when we get back to the ship, I have a job for you. Actually, let's talk about that just now. Statement HK 47 is ready to serve, Master. We have a little stowaway problem on the ship. Can't understand it. 
Can you help? Statement. I cannot be of assistance on that, Master. Oh. Thought you might have been able to translate for her. Never mind. Hey, Bilan, I'm hmm? here now. Oh, it's you again. I'll just let you pass. The boys in the office may need authorization in triplicate, but not me. Good hunting out there. to damage that sand crawler that badly. That's a bit bright. Okay, counting on the sand people not to shoot us. Whose idea was this again? Don't stand on the mine. Why do I bother? Please do not shoot me. Extrapolation. This guard doesn't appear honored to have the job of greeting us. Tell me of the moisture converters. Translation. He will take us before the chieftain, as he was instructed to do. Good. Translation. He did not expect us to return, Master. He wonders if we have brought the moisture evaporators. Tell me how his evaporators. Translation. Translation. He does not trust you, Master, but you have done more than any other outsider. They will not attack, and he grants you his chieftain's gaffy as reward. Translation. The attacks will be reduced, and he will allow you to explore this enclave, but be warned that any lack of respect will result in death. Uh, I have a few questions of him. Protocol. If you truly want this sadly peaceful arrangement to continue, be careful of what you ask. Ask about captives. Clarification. We must be more specific, Master. They capture many organics. Ask if he knows about the Jawas. Translation. <laughs> Translation. He says that the captive Jawas are slaves and that they have lived past their usefulness. You may take them if you wish. Let's see what he knows about the star map. Protocol. 
We should not keep him long. It is an insult to take too much of his time. Unless the plan is to blast him when you are done, of course. Ask him about the star map. Translation. <laughs> Translation. He says that what you seek is far from here in the Eastern Dune Sea. He will give you a map so you can find your way. Translation. His people found it but didn't scavenge it because a crate dragon took up residence in the excavation. A crate dragon. What is that? How do I pass it? Translation. <laughs> Translation. Your ignorance isn't his concern. He claims there is a hunter that wanders the area sometimes and that you should ask him. Translation. The hunter is a twilight. He will be in the eastern dune sea somewhere. Alright. Tell him farewell for now. Translation. Translation. We are free to leave. Let's find the Jawas and free them. We don't need Isis' information anymore, but still. AF email. Interesting. They look a little bit different to the males. Do females have their own position within the culture, HK? I'm still not entirely over how you speak. The sand people said you can go. Get yourselves to Anchorhead. Let's go check out this dragon. Okay. Found the other prisoners. Okay, a bunch of stuff that you could use here. Acknowledgement! Harm alone. Okay, we seem to have an obsession with Bantha fodder. HK, get out of my way. Okay. All seems in order. Let's get out of their way. Our presence is an insult to them as it is. Bastila, catch up. the Twi'lek Hunter isn't the dead Twi'lek over there. But I doubt it.
Please don't be the hunter we're looking for. Hmm. Still, we got a map this time. Hopefully, we should be able to see where we're going. So in our vision, don't you think, Bastila? Still, I'd like to have a look around when we head over there. What's that all the way out there? too deep into the desert to go looking. Someone by the mouth of that cave, though. There is something big asleep in there, too. I'm tired of waiting, Comad. How big can this dragon of yours be? I'm going in. Okay, so there's something big in there. Hi there. <laughs> Tukninchatukunde <laughs> If it's such an honor, why do you want help? Why should we kill it? Ka chikun ida hodonga, yikin kuno ba mulera chikun. Svimo podonar de hodonga ku hunkabe. Jedo badoana ni di bobo. Dong na bungsha nununya. Dong patukashmak telea. Runda di hodonga kun hunkabi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotek. So he's actually a threat to the town. Why me? Why not another hunter? Yeah, 
Why would I want to do this? You don't know? Only rumored. Okay. Give me some information on how to help them. How will we lead the Banthas here? Tukunchatukundes. <laughs> What art you telling me? Ka chikun ida hodonga, ye king kuno ba mulera chikun. Spimo podonar de hodonga kun kabe. Runda di hodonga kun hunkabi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tung king ba nuno dak. Tuk ning chatukunde mulera bes. I have your fodder anyway. Took it from some of the ones close at anchor head. Jedo ba do wana ni dibobo. Dong na bungsha ni nunya. Dong patukas mak talaya. I'll see what I can do. Ronda di ho tonga kun hangabi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tungking ba nuno tek. Tuk nin cha tu kun de mule rabes. Mucha shak pa khat. Alright, if we just go and get these banthas, we just need one of them to follow us. Come on. They didn't take kindly to that. them to have grenades.
could have gone worse. Come on. Achuta, Unga could be stu- Achuta, Unga could be stu- I come at Jitter but the one and need you both. Dong the boom sha no nunya. Dong patukashma telea. I'm ready. Tune Pudu Ranu Prata Dunko Shirkasha Tum a pike. We did what had to be done here. He was a big one. Let's see if this rumor of pearls is correct. on their lightsabers. Well, look, Bastila, we were right. Star map. have found the star map you were seeking. I am surprised it is still working after all this time. I do not think it is mere chance that we have found the star map here, in the lair of a great dragon. The star map is an artifact of the dark side. A great dragon may have been drawn here by its dark power, only to be enslaved by it. Come, we should leave this place. There's nothing else for us here. Agreed. Bastila, is it me? Or are there more speeders outside than there were before? I have to give you credit. You've let me on quite a chase. But nobody gets away from Kalo Nord in the end. You got lucky on Terrace. The Sith attack saved you from a quick and gruesome death. But I promise you. The Sith won't be getting in my way this time. You think I got lucky last time, Kalo? Let's do that again. Let's go, boys. It's showtime. Edge kick. Take him out. 
if they're sending him after us. We should get back to Anchorhead. just as we get inside the gate. Let's get back to the Hawk and work out a plan of where to go next then, shall we? 